other day, a guy came to me. He said, since I got baptized and following Jesus as my Lord and Savior, everything has been going south. I mean, it's almost like nothing is happening for me. Everything is just crumbling down. I said to him, I am not surprised. He said, what? I said, I'm not surprised. Because the devil is not happy for the decision that you have made. You have made the greatest decision. And this decision is a decision to go against the kingdom of darkness. So they are going to come after you. They are going to come after you with pressure. They are going to turn up the pressure in so many areas of your life. But you have to resist the devil. So this is the reason why pastors, when they are baptizing people, they should prepare them mentally. Listen, there will be a battle, a war that you are going to fight in this season, especially in the first year, in the first three months, six months of that time that you made that decision to follow Jesus. So you are going to be faced with a lot of battle, a lot of war. But you must resist. Prepare these people because many of them think that when they give their life to Christ, everything will start going all right. No, 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 no. The moment, I'm telling somebody this right now, the moment you start fasting more often, the moment you, you, you make a decision to do things right and live a holy life, the devil will send temptation of all kinds to sweep you out, of, out you know, from the floor and cause you to go back in your former life. Jesus, in Matthew chapter 4, Jesus had just finished 40 days and 40 nights of fasting. He was hungry. You know, if, the, if there was one time the devil should stay away from Jesus, it should be this time because Jesus is filled with power and the unction, the anointing. You know, he should be flaming all over his body. But the devil went to him and said to him, you know, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Look at that. He knew Jesus was hungry. So he's tempting Jesus. And, and then again, Jesus refuted him, and then he went back again and said, If you are the Son of God, he said, Throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Look at that. Jesus, the Son of God, is being tempted by the devil. Who are we? Who are we? You know, and again, the devil took him on a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor and said to him i will give you if you bow down and worship me look at that once you make up your mind to follow jesus prepare for war once you come to serve god prepare for war but when you resist the devil you will resist once you resist the devil he will flee from you so be strong